It Takes Three, obviously titled on the idea that there's three harmonica players. <laughs> it's a solo piece featuring <laughs> David Barrett. <laughs> yeah. There is um, a little change that I made since we first played this many moons ago. And instead of going... <laughs> And we all play the same thing. I decided to move things up an octave. Okay. So I am player one <laughs> for obvious reasons because I wrote the tune. Yeah. I'm going to play the two drop. And then Gary will play the six blow as I repeat the line playing the two drop. And you get the high part. Wow. Yeah. So you're in blue. That's it, pretty straightforward. I thought about doing harmonies, and I think we'll just monkey with that live. Yeah. And Aki's an experienced player, Gary's an experienced player. Sometimes we throw in harmonies without even talking right. about it. Uh, this, you know, we've got a certain arrangement that we're following, but we'll probably mess around with it until we come up with something uh, that we like, and, and it's a collaborative process, really. What'll happen then is I'll play this opening part. And then Gary will play the same thing, and then you'll play the same thing, but with your own variation. So here's the lick, uh, at least as written. And then throw a fill in at that point. So you're just referencing what's already there. So for example, if I bring up this jam track that I've made. Let me slow it down. So here I'll play my part and Gary's part, and then you want to try playing that? Back to one more time. There we go. So I'll play the first two licks. Then Gary. Yeah, good. So Aki makes it his own. And whether you play there, you know, whatever, wherever you want to do it, or do a sequence. You know, yeah. you do whatever you want right there. Then I've got my part. Uh, so the theme is on the four. So come up with something that's within that rhythmic character. Uh, what I have written, again, this is up to you whether you want to follow this. Uh, Yeah, that's the gist of it, and I don't want Aki to necessarily play that note for note. That's the bare bones of what the that, that horn section type of idea right. I have in my mind. Uh, so I don't want to spoil it too much by spoon-feeding everything. So here's my part. Gary, da do da da do do da do da da do do then me. Scary again. Do, 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 do. Get ready. Two, three. Then it's the harmony. Gary enters and he starts to play. I've got my two draw. He's got the three draw. Then you enter on the four chord. The two blow. Exactly. 
Get ready. Then you go to one draw. Exactly. So we got two blow and then to one draw. Here we go. Two blow. Get ready for one draw. You'll stay on the one draw. And again, you'll hit the one draw. Again. Exactly. So when I put that together, we get this. Sorry. I'll point you in. You'll come in on the four. That's it. So you're going to play that twice. Get ready. Then I fill. Then you're going to go. Go ahead. One draw, two blow. Okay, get ready. Ah, it's hard to hear that tape. Are we right on the there. four? Yeah, we're going to go to the four. Okay, just making sure I know where we're at. Two, three, four. Then Gary does a fill. You're gonna go. Which happens to be the same like as you played on the one. That's it, then you're gonna play the turnaround. Hang on a second. Okay, one bend, get ready. That's it, one more time. Fill. That's it. That's yeah. the song. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll use this as our four measure um, bridge, I guess we can call it, a refrain. Sure. It comes back in the song to separate the different soloists. So now we have our, our four bar, uh, it's hard, hard to call it a bridge since we open with it. Right. It's called a it's, refrain. It's, uh, I don't know what to call it. The four bar lick. <laughs> the break section, the hook break lick, whatever. the hook break. Yeah. Yeah, it defies naming. <laughs> it transcends <laughs> the English language. <laughs> yeah. So we'll play that, then we've got boo ba doo doo ba doo ba doo doo we trade, then we got ba doo da da still doing kind of call and response, then we move into the harmonies, we have the second harmony, so we got four choruses. Then we do the break section, well maybe we'll just call it the break section, since there's no breaks anywhere else. And then uh, we hand off the solo. So we'll just do the solos in the same order of the players, myself, Gary, and then you. And uh, at the very end, we have an ending. <laughs> I guess that goes without saying. <laughs> Your part is... And one, two at the same time. Three, four, rest. Three, four, rest. And we'll have to practice that quite a bit because that's a unintuitive right. part of the song. The rest of it's pretty pretty intuitive sounding. So we've played this one before already live, and man, it goes over well.